A kia koutou, a oku whānau, um, no te rōpū kawakawa, a o koutou no piripiri, a me koutou ngā whānau hau no uh, kopa kopa, kopa kopa, kei te mihi atu kia koutou. Um, my name's Kay Marie and I'm really proud to um, just talk to you about our journey to date. I'm uh, part of the Kawakawa Fano in the first EHF cohort. Um, and I'm really grateful, Josh. I was hoping that Fred was going to be in front of me, but he's not. Um, but Josh really setting the scene around this thing called blockchain. And in fact, I was connected to blockchain through being part of the EHF Fano. And the first question that came to me is, what is this thing called blockchain? It's very technical, it seems very complicated. So I want to talk about the journey that we've taken to date, uh, where we're at, um, what we're doing, um, and then finally, how you can help us. Um, and I think one of the key things to um, to talk about is a, a bit about the journey, which was this time last year, I uh, got up in front of our whānau and said, I want to create an indigenous cryptocurrency called Indigicoin. And I have to mihi to Aaron McDonald because I always say it was the trip between Waiuku back to Auckland City where I said to the brother, hey, look, I really want us as Māori to um, to start to reclaim our, uh, our our, our money situation, our economic system, um, and also be part of this blockchain uh, journey in a way where we're not far, far behind. So if you can imagine blockchain and what it seems to be or says nothing, I went on a big, big journey and going down a whole bunch of rabbit holes. Which is interesting because um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we then won the Blockhack, um, Blockhack uh, Hackathon, um, and I say it's interesting because despite the journey that we went on, and I started off with Indigicoin, we actually landed where we should, and that is Whakapapa. And Whakapapa is important because that is our genealogy, and I have this beautiful marae uh, waifi too up, um, because these are the repositories of our knowledge. These are the places where our people share our information, uh, which is primarily orally based, inside of our carvings and our artwork, um, but also I met a beautiful sister called Michaela Jade from Australia who said actually Indigenous people have been doing decentralised information sharing since way back. And this is a picture of Tasmania. And if you see these little squares, these little blocks, these are pieces of information that each tribe, tribal person held. And every year they would come back together and and, and have their, their singing festivals. And in those processes, they would bring together as a collective their knowledge and their information. So I wanna say, actually, we can lay, lay claim to the fact that we were the OG inventors of blockchain. <laughs> <coughs> um, but in saying that, what is the problem that we're facing? There are three things. One, traditional uh, knowledge is at risk of being lost and forgotten. Um, our knowledge of whakapapa is so sacred, and therefore people are feeling comfortable about digitising that information. It's something that we're still um, needing to work through. Um, and also the importance to say that even if you digitise whakapapa, the whole process of learning and understanding our culture must be earned. So you can't just get it online and that's it. What is your contribution back to your people as well? So that's a really big call that's come from um, our validation so far. So who is this for? This is my whānau. My whānau are a perfect example of being disconnected from our tribal homelands and also a result of uh, post-World War I coming into the cities and not knowing our whakapapa. Um, but the other key users of this potential technology would be um, tri tribes. So they need to know who are the people that are putting forth their whakapapa? Are they who they say they are? Can they uh, easily and accurately identify who you are? Um, is this a way that we can stay connected to our culture? Um, and also, can we utilise blockchain as a way to communicate with our whānau, and our whānau can actually customise the kinds of communications that come from the tribe as well? So we've gone around, we've spoke to a whole group of people who say, yes, blockchain, um, or most importantly, the way that we can utilise technology to better communicate and connect with one another is a good idea. And so I want to introduce Aho. Aho means I am. And the beautiful um, element of Aho is really, this is our uh, pataka, or a storehouse of knowledge. Um, it's built with Māori values, and the whole purpose is to help our people connect um, with who you are and what you do. And I'm saying 
we, because it's not just for Māori. In fact, if you want to stay connected to your genealogy in a way that is safe and secure, this particular product will be for you as well. So um, ultimately, we want you to take control and ownership of your data, and we want you to be able to share it with who you want, how you want, uh, in a way that suits you. And so we've already started um, uh, uh, this week on Monday. I just want um, my brothers here, uh, Ben, if he can stand up, Ben Tidier and Sam. These are the two amazing humans. If we just give them a big clap. These are our two coders um, who are actually building this beautiful thing inside the Centrality um, Incubator. So um, I'm going to be sending all of you Cody people to my other Cody people over here to have that conversation because they're going to be building AHO um, with the support of Centrality, and we're really, really grateful. And so just focusing in on the benefit of this relationship, I'm really grateful to Centrality for supporting us in building this particular concept. Um, Auckland and Edinburgh universities who are very interested in supporting us. Um, the team from Inspiro Dev Academy, because as Josh said, we're way behind. Well, if we're way behind as New Zealanders, where does that put Māori, Pacifica and migrant people? So we want to make sure that we can actually get the training out to our region so our whānau aren't just users of a service, but we're actually engineering, managing and controlling the service as well. So we've got a pretty amazing team. Again, kaupapa Māori values. Um, but of course we've got to keep ourselves safe culturally. So I'm really grateful that I've been able to ask for the support of the likes of Riki Rangi Gage from Te Whanau Wapanui, Richard Jones, um, who's from Rangitane, and also Te Arawa, but also the head of Potama, Teresa Tepanea Ashton, who's um, in the whanau of Kopa Kopa, um, Hoturua Kerr, who is a master navigator, um, Mike Taitoko, who's a data, data genius, um, and also Dr. Manuka Hinari from Auckland University to ensure that we are doing what we need to to uh, keep our people and our um, sacred knowledge safe. So again, Māori owned, designed and delivered, um, and also in alignment with tikanga Māori. So our impact, again, this is about us um, controlling our information, ensuring that we have secure storage, um, there are some possibilities around governance and communications, um, but in the future, this is just the starting point. And so, um, just briefly, because I've got 15 seconds left, we'll be building on the plug blockchain, we'll be utilising the single source, which is still under development, to build this particular um, DAP. But in future, this particular interface will then be able to provide the platform for how we manage our land, the way that we manage our health data, voting, education, and of course, I get to my IndigiCoin at the end, so I'm really happy about that. So um, finally, I just want to say the importance of engaging um, our rangatahi as well. So we have the Māori Collective, which is a group of rangatahi to support us on our journey. Um, and finally, my ask to you is how can you help us? We're interested in forging strong relationships with you, and we're interested in you bringing your knowledge to our communities through training. Um, of course, I'd love investment, so this is a great ask and an opportunity, but wait until it's built. We'll um, come back out to you then. I um, mean, also... I did say to Ben, you know, I'd really like people to hack the shit out of this because I want to make sure that this is safe. And uh, Ben said, well, actually, you don't ask that question up front. You do that on the quiet. But with that in mind, <clears throat> if we do have people that would um, support us in trying to break it, because if I'm going to be going... If we're going to be going hand over heart to our people to talk about this platform and how awesome it is, it needs to be safe and secure. So I want the best brains in the world, you, to help us with what we're doing. Nō reire huama, thank you very much. If you want more information, aho.io, which is, as the Māoris in the room will understand <laughs> the relevance of that, but aho.io. So if you want to know more information and get in contact with us, um, way amai. Kura tato.